Do you know where you are gathered? You are gathered in District 6. Yes. Do you know why it was called District 6? No. They couldn't get a name for the 6th district. So they just called it District 6. But that is the arrogance and the attitude that existed already then. These people, these poor people, they don't need a name of a place to stay. So you are gathered in a space that historically represents a form of resistance to the land crisis already. The purpose of our general uh, assembly is to reconnect. As we all know that we decided to form this movement so that we have mass meetings about housing and land issues. The land and housing struggles in Southern Africa is what we shall fight for. These struggles, we must show our political leaders that is just a demand for our people. Mandela, Samora, among others, showed us the way to fight to demand our freedom, but also for justice for our people. We gather here to declare that we will fight for decent housing for all. So comrades, we cannot continue to speak about every land justice in isolation from the struggle of people in former settlements. Comrades, the occupations in former settlements are very important and we need to speak about how does justice look like in your area. We need to have those imbizo whereby we, we reawaken our minds and know why we're here and know why we occupy the places that we have occupied. We, we might be surprised, we go back to our occupation, we find out city or law enforcement is there, is chatting us out. We won't have any plan. If that can happen today, we won't have any plan. Let's not sit without any plan. Let's always have a plan for today, for tomorrow, two years, five years to come, then we will survive. Otherwise, we will not survive. We are sure of the fact that one day, this thing is going to work out. What was forcefully taken shall be forcefully returned. And that can only happen only if as, as all these occupiers that are sitting here, we are united. Comrades, we need to fight this, this, this struggle to the end. It has to come to the end before 2030. Before 2030, all of us here that are called occupiers, we have to be in, on our land, in our houses. It's not a favor, comrades.